Hello everyone! My name is Teacher Annie, your grade 10 health teacher. After watching this video, the students are able to discuss the significance of global health initiatives. Specifically, they are able to describe how global health initiatives positively impact people's health in various countries. Analyze issues in the implementation of global health initiatives and recommend ways of adopting global health initiatives to local or national context. Let's have a word hunt. In this activity, your background knowledge will be assessed. You will look for 10 global health issues and concerns that the World Health Organization and member nations are facing. And then, discuss the implications of the different global health issues and concerns to people across nations. Let's get started! Time's up! The 10 global health issues and concerns are Malaria Water safety Diseases Women's health Mental health AIDS Environment Nutrition Tobacco And Dengue Did you find them all? Well done! All of them influence, affect and depend on better global health programs and policies. Our topic for today is all about global health and the Millennium Development Goals. Are you ready to learn? Buckle up, get ready to power your mind. For its central role in global affairs, health issues are among the priority concerns of the United Nations. It thus designated the World Health Organization to serve as the lead agency tasked to direct and coordinate with all member nations regarding leadership, supervision, technical support, and education on matters about health which affects many countries including the Philippines. The term global health rose in popularity along with the rise of globalization. Both terms improved public awareness of vulnerabilities and shared responsibilities among people for the different injustices in the world. Ilona Kikbush, Director of the Global Health Program at the Graduate Institute of International and Development Studies in Geneva, Switzerland, states that global health pertains to various health issues, concerns, and trends, which go beyond national boundaries and call for global initiatives for the protection and promotion of people's health across the world. Copland and Associates states that global health is an area for study, research, and practice that prioritizes health improvement and achieving impartiality in healthcare and wellness worldwide. Beagle Hole and Bonita gave a short but meaningful definition of global health. Cooperative research and action of international communities to promote health for all. The United Nations Millennium Development Goals are eight targets that all 191 UN member states have agreed to achieve by 2015. The United Nations Millennium Declaration, signed in September 2000, 
commits world leaders to fight discrimination against women and children, disease, hunger, poverty, literacy, and environmental degradation. All of these goals cannot be attained without addressing each and every one. The eight Millennium Development Goals are Number one, eradicate extreme poverty and hunger. Number two, achieve universal primary education. Number three, promote gender equality and empower women. Number four, reduce child mortality. Number five, improve maternal health. Number six, combat HIV or AIDS, malaria, and other diseases. Number seven, ensure environmental sustainability. And number eight, global partnership for development. We are lucky because here in our country, we have laws and policies that protects and promotes the sexual and reproductive health of adolescents and young people. Now let's watch a video from the United Nations about their next plan for another 15 years. In the year 2000, leaders from 189 countries agreed on a vision for the new millennium. They wanted to end extreme poverty in all of its forms. So they made a list of eight goals called the Millennium Development Goals and they wanted to achieve these goals in 15 years. One of the leading organizations working to fulfill these goals has been the United Nations Development Program, or UNDP. We're present in more than 170 countries and territories. We champion the goals so that people everywhere would know what they were and how people could do their part. We funded projects that helped fulfill the goals. We helped countries accelerate NDG progress by breaking down the silos and working across sectors. We acted as scorekeeper, helping countries to track progress. As a result, the number of people that live on less than $1.25 per day has dropped by more than half. The number of primary school age kids who don't go to school, down by almost half. The number of people getting life-saving treatment for HIV increased by over 15 times. Child mortality, down by almost half. As much progress as we have made together, there's still a lot more to do. Over 800 million people are still living on less than $1.25 a day. One in nine people on our planet goes to sleep hungry each night. Deforestation remains alarmingly high in many countries. Oceans are becoming more acidic, threatening food security and marine ecosystems. And about one of every six adults in the world is illiterate. Two thirds of them are women. We think those are tough numbers and so do leaders from the countries where we work. So in September 2015, they agreed on a new set of goals to help finish the work we all started in 2000. The new goals are called the Sustainable Development Goals, or SDGs. We have made significant progress in the last 15 years, and we think there's plenty of room for hope, for action, in the next 15 years. Today, the world is more connected by technology, we know more about how to balance the three pillars of sustainable development, social progress, economic growth, and environmental protection. However, our climate is changing. Our planet is transforming. And there are more people on Earth than ever before. We at UNDP believe everyone can have enough of what they need living within our planetary boundaries. And we are working around the world to make this happen. Our goals to reach by 2030 are to eradicate extreme poverty, protect our environment, and much more. UNDP has 50 years of experience working with countries to make this a more prosperous, healthy, inclusive, and sustainable world. Join us. We should join the UNDP because one of the benefits of globalization to the world is the development and improvement of various health initiatives initiated by different nations and governments to address health issues and concerns. Global health initiatives are programs set in motion by the United Nations through the World Health Organization and in partnership with the World Bank 
which targets specific health problems including but not limited to emerging and re-emerging diseases, climate change, environmental sanitation, mental health, tobacco regulation, and alcohol use. And as a Filipino citizen, you must demonstrate ability to be involved in collective and cooperative activities towards improving the community and society. For your activity, provide what is being asked. Number one, guess who? Who said that global health pertains to various health issues, concerns, and trends which go beyond national boundaries and call for global initiatives for the protection and promotion of people's health across the world? The correct answer is Ilona Kikbush. Number two, guess the word. Blank equality means equal representation of men and women. The correct answer is gender. Number three, answer it. What is investing in supporting sustainable energy like solar, wind, and water energy? help support jobs, create business opportunities, and save remaining non-renewable energy sources? Is it A. Improve maternal health? B. Ensure environmental sustainability? C. Combat HIV or AIDS, malaria, and other diseases? Or D. Global Partnership for Development? The correct answer is B. Ensure environmental sustainability. Number four, guess what? What is a cooperative research and action of international communities to promote health for all? The correct answer is global health. And number five, true or false. One of the benefits of globalization to the world is the development and improvement of various health initiatives initiated by different nations and governments to address health issues and concerns. The correct answer is true. Did you get them all? Good job! For your evaluation, write in each box the different health issues, concerns, and trends encountered around the world. These issues, concerns, and trends may have not been mentioned in the readings but should also be addressed by international and national communities. Add more boxes if needed. For your assignment, Poem Writing, choose one global health initiative of the World Health Organization and write a poem about it. Include the aims of the initiative and its importance to global health. Criteria, Poetry Techniques or Elements 20% effectively uses poetic techniques such as figurative language to reinforce the theme. Word usage, 20%. Students' use of vocabulary is precise, vivid, and paints a strong, clear, and complete picture in the reader's mind. Spelling, grammar, and punctuation, 20%. Has grade-level appropriate spelling, grammar, and punctuation. Contains few, if any, Errors that do not interfere with the reader's understanding. Form, 20%. Creatively uses appropriate poetry form, complete with more than four stanzas with four lines each. Understanding of the topic, 20%.
Students' work demonstrates a complete understanding of the assignment and goes beyond the requirements. For a total of 100%. This has been your mom, Annie Bolo Payas. Remember, it is in your hands to create a better world for all who live in it. Bye!